So the time is coming when people are going to be traveling by air again, whether it is to go to where there's work or vacation or to see family that they haven't seen for a year. So I'm going to show how to have two bags that go in the overhead compartment with two backpacks and how to how to set that up so that you can go camping and still be presentable for visiting family or going on a job interview or whatever your travel needs are. This is the tent I've used for my jetting tent for a while. Um, it has a couple, couple good features for that purpose. Um, one is that tarp for a floor. The way the the frame is, is this weird uh, external, internal combination. I talked about, when I was talking about the other tent, how I like to have the tie around, that goes around both. So that is what I was talking about. That's just a double slip square knot, same as you would use on tennis shoes. And then the tent poles just go into this pocket, which I actually like. Um, it's it's easy and then it's got a sleeve that it goes into and then becomes an internal frame it does not have a fly so it is um, definitely a summer tent it starts externally and then is internally at the peak it's it's an odd Odd combination. I just pitched it by myself, but it's much easier to pitch with two people. One of the things I really like about this tent is the colors. None of them shout out, I'm trying to hide, but all of them are so that you can camp back from the road and not be, you know, not be a beacon. The tent has a little bit of screen and, I don't know if you call that a fly, a little flap to let some of the moisture out, but it still looks best for me. If I leave the little windows rolled down part way, I would say zipped up because that leans open. That's the flap I was talking about. It's not spacious, but you have room to put your boots and your gear and sleep. And, you know, it gets warm in there. The way this tent is designed, it gets really warm. So I have, um, have taken a shower or gone and, and swam in whatever creek or whatever is available and gotten my towel wet and then put my wet towel over me in order to get cool enough to sleep in some climates. I don't think the locals have that problem, but I'm used to having a blanket over me. So whether you have arrived at your destination and rented a car, or you've come in on Amtrak and then walked over to wherever you're going to set up on the sidewalk, whatever your reality is, you get your tent pitched, and then you have to figure out how to get all of your positions organized. And there you are in your nighttime configuration with just like you would do with your backpacks, your suitcases all lined up on the side. And then there you have it in its daytime configuration. So there you are, off to visit relatives or take a job or go ahead of the rest of the family and move. Go look for work, whatever it is, and get on the plane out having to pay any charges for cargo baggage um, and have everything you need to live for as long as it takes. Um, you know, the only thing you need to do is do your laundry and, you know, you're good to go.